There we're going to switch to uh, the GM stand to talk to Tom Wilkinson about the new Colorado pickup truck. Well, Tom here at the Alley Auto Show, and a uh, big debut for uh, for the for Chevrolet here at the Alley Auto Show, but uh, not so big in, in terms of the car. No, it's very, <laughs> very exciting. We have our new midsize Chevrolet Colorado pickup, which is um, sort of fits in the family under the uh, Silverado, and it's a uh, Great new truck. We're very excited to be showing it yeah, And this it is here. a return to this segment, right? Because uh, you guys were uh, a little bit apart from it. For Correct. We were out of the segment for a couple of years. We finished building the last Colorado in 2012, and then this one will be in showrooms in the uh, fall of 2014. Yeah, and uh, how important is, is, is this segment? Because obviously the, 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 the full-size uh, pickup trucks are uh, the, most, the ones that sell most. But this is important too, right? It's very important, and these the trucks... Fit, reach a different group of customers. These people are more likely to live in cities and suburbs. They're more likely to commute in the truck during the week and then use it for weekend activities, for um, recreational activities, gardening, and so forth on the weekend. So it's more of a personal use truck and a different customer. So it's really important to reach both customers. Well, as opposed to like a working uh, pickup truck, right? Correct. Full-size trucks tend to be more um, work trucks during the week. Again, they're often used during the weekend, but it's It's a different type of work, and so it's great to be able to reach both Yeah, but, we, we, but with your new Silverado, I mean, that's a luxury vehicle, <laughs> the, is, the, the, the way you, you can equip it, right? Oh, it is. It can be equipped as a luxurious vehicle. Um, but what we're finding is a lot of people just want a smaller truck, particularly, for example, here in Southern California. People live in urban and suburban areas. Um, streets are narrow, parking spaces are small, and a, a mid-sized yeah. truck is a great option. Yeah. So, what, uh, can you tell us a little bit of the characteristics for this uh, for this uh, pickup? Well, it's essentially an all-new truck. It's an evolution of a truck that we sell in uh, South America and Asia, and uh, but it's been re re-engineered for the U.S. and Canadian markets. Uh, it'll have a four-cylinder or V6 engine, and then in the second year, we'll also have a four-cylinder turbo diesel engine. So that's oh, also very exciting. Oh, the turbo diesel. Yeah, a lot of people are like getting into diesel now, finally, right here in the States. Well, we'll have to see. There's still a very large difference in price between gasoline and diesel, which has slowed down acceptance. But a lot of people are giving diesel a try, including us. Uh, we're glad we'll be able to offer it in Colorado, and we'll see how it does. Yeah, because uh, the new diesel technology really has improved a lot, and like it gives an advantage, right, in, in terms of performance and in the long, long term also in cost. Uh, it dep the cost depends on the fuel economy versus the um, the price of the price spread for fuel. But in terms of performance for a truck, particularly on Colorado, the diesel will have much more torque than the gas engine. It'll be a good option for somebody who's towing as well as somebody who just likes the driving characteristics of a diesel. Excellent. And when uh, does this one come into uh, the market? The diesel will be uh, in the fall of 2015. So we'll have okay. the new Colorado. Yes, yeah, so the new Colorado will start with the two gasoline engines, and then a year later we'll have the diesel. So when the gasoline engines come, come into market? Uh, fall of next year. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Tom. Well, you're welcome. Thank Bye. you. Bueno, ese fue el debut de la GM Colo, la Chevrolet Colorado, la pickup mediana eh, del grupo de General Motors. Y cuando regresemos vamos a hablar del Green Car of the Year Award que se entregó también en el Auto Show de Los Ángeles y luego de regreso ya en Miami el Test Drive del Maserati Ghibli 2014.